Hey y'all, hey, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. How y'all doing today? Happy Vlogmas day number five. Happy Vlogmas day number five. Y'all, as y'all can see, I'm leaving work. I'm leaving work today and I'm going to actually go to another Dollar Tree since I'm over in Memphis. I'm gonna go to the one. It's, I still can get there like on the way home. It's a little bit drive out the way. I'm going in a different direction, you know. Not really in a different direction. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna stop by another one on the way home. I need to, I'm gonna see if they have some more of those little, um, little bulb lights and uh, to go out front. If they have some more, I'm gonna get some more of those. And I'm also going to see if they got some little, I remember I got some from them last year and I gave the rest of mine to somebody to use those little money gift card holders because you just hate to waste money on those you just need something festive to throw the gift card or the money in you know so i'm gonna see if they got um some of those there and that's pretty much all i need well i don't really need that stuff but i do need the gift card holders but i'm gonna pretty much um go to dollar tree for that I was gonna stop yesterday because I came in the office yesterday. Well, y'all know that. Oh, there's a Southwest. Southwest plane is coming in the landing. Coming in the landing. I don't tell y'all before I work over here by the airport. Anyway, Southwest that was descending on, getting ready to go down on the runway. But at any rate, what was I even talking about? I done got all off and discombobulated all off track. But I went, so I yesterday, like I said, I ended up not going. Then I thought, oh, the Powerball tonight. So I stopped in and um, at the little store over in Mississippi, close to my house, uh, to get me a Powerball. Of course, they got my numbers wrong again last night. I don't even think I matched their number. Of course, I got a quick pick. I didn't pick my own number. But even if I would have picked my own numbers, if I can recall, I still wouldn't have had one. <laughs> the numbers I normally play when I do play, you know, I wouldn't have had one still. They gonna get it right one day. But anyway, I went in the store, right? And they were playing the station that's playing all Christmas music, it said. And again, uh, I don't know if it's George Michael or Wham that came on, but it's one of the Christmas songs I listen to it every year. And I started singing and dancing. I guess that guy said, what is really? He just smiled. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. The very next day, you gave it away. This year, to save me from tears, I'll give it to someone special. Last Christmas. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if y'all we were into Wham back in the day. We were stationed over in England when Wham was out. And so, yeah, that's just a funny thing I thought about that. But yeah, y'all. Oh, y'all. For those of you who asked me where I got that dress from yesterday, I think I paid like $13 or $14 for that dress, but I got it off of Timu. You know, I told y'all. You know, but I really, I got one in two different patterns. Two different colors. It's the same pattern, but two different colors, and I didn't pay that much for it. One I wore to the, um, the murder mystery thing, and then there was that color. I just thought, you know, these are unique. They camouflage, but I thought they were unique in the coloring of them, so... I thought, and if y'all knows, I do like camouflage. I, that's not all I wear, but I do like it. And sometimes when I really like something, I won't go overboard. I don't get it in every color, but I get it in at least two colors. You know, at least two. At least two. <laughs> so I got that one in two. And they have it in other colors, too. So you may not even want the color that I had on yesterday. But anyway. But yeah, I had to, I had to uh, come. It, this was funny to me, actually. So I know it probably... You know, not funny to anyone else, but it was funny to me anyway. I had pass where I needed to turn. I'm gonna go up in this gas station right here on the corner. I wasn't paying attention, running my mouth. If y'all guess yourself, how do you know you pass where you needed to turn? I got my directions on my phone right here. You know, you know I get to talking and I just lose all the chain of thought. I be thinking I can multitask. Sometimes you know, I can't be multitasking, child. I can't do it worth a dog. But anyway, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm saying this for a reason because I found it rather funny. But if you ever 
feel the need. I guess some people felt the need they needed to let me know that they didn't like me. I want to first of all congratulate you on your self-awareness. On your self-awareness to know what you like and don't like. Who you like and who you don't like. But why you felt like that was any of my business, it's actually not. It's none of my business, basically. You know, it's not that I don't care. Well, I don't care. <laughs> it's not It's not my problem. That's your problem that you have to deal with. But I, again, I say congratulations. And this is for anybody. If people feel like they don't like you, that's not your problem. That's their problem. And that's something you're going to have to work out for yourself. But let me make a suggestion for you. You don't know me in real life, right? But even if you did know me in real life, you could avoid me in real life. But on YouTube, man, it's so simple. Click, 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 click. So what I'm gonna tell you, you need to do, I'm gonna tell you this. Now, this is just some sage advice because you're watching my videos, apparently. Um, Use what you don't like. Apply your choices for your life and use it accordingly. Don't stress yourself out. Don't put yourself under duress for no reason. It's just, it makes no sense to make your life miserable. Okay? All right. That was just my PSA for today. And anybody who can use that information and apply it to your life, please do. Oh, I got here quick. This was really not a bad drive. I guess if you don't know any back ways and stuff. Now look at here, look at here. I don't know. I actually done brought my brother to work this way one time. Because you know he worked over by the airport too. We work for the same company. We just don't work in the same department. Well, I'm right here. I'm over here by Marvin's. You know, Marvin sells soul food. Uh, I don't get over here that often. I'm almost tempted to go over there to Marvin's and see what they got. What you got, Marvin's? Oh, that wasn't nowhere from my job. Okay. All right. Okay. Dollar Tree. All right. Dollar Tree. Bam, bam, bam. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Seems like this is a fairly big Dollar Tree. So, y'all, let me go on up in here. Take y'all up in here with me and see if they got what we looking for. Well, y'all, look at God. They got them in here. I wonder where you would put these. I guess you could sit them on your porch. They're the solar ones too. I'm trying not to buy a whole lot. So in order for me to have some sense, I'm going to get the three more that I need. And... Yeah, that'll be eight across the thing. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, they got some cute little Christmas stuff, like the um, the um, stuff for your kitchen. They got that in here. Oh, y'all, they even got, like, if you want these, but I'm getting the bulbs. Look at these. Let me set these down so I can show y'all. They got a Christmas tree solar. They got the snowman solar. And I don't know what this is supposed to be. Home. I guess it's a reindeer. I don't know. And they got an elf too. So you don't have to get the plain ones like I got. You know? Yeah. Anyway. Let me get over here because I said I was coming here for this little stuff and get my tail out of here. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, they have the cards. Do y'all have the uh, Christmas money holders? Mm -hmm. 
get some on that end cap. Okay. And there's some over on the other side. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. about they don't have the, like the package of them like they've had before but they do have the um they have these down yep. here thank you so mm -hmm. much so i'm gonna get some of these it don't have to be anything spectacular because i told y'all hold on one minute i'm gonna get yeah, back with y'all in a minute those are a dollar and these over here are Two for a dollar. Yeah, two for a dollar. Uh, that's for yeah. the win. Two for a dollar for well, the win. Well, these over here are the two for a dollar. Okay. Those are a dollar. Thank you, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're right down on the top there. Okay, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to go for the two for a dollar one, y'all. For the win. Hold on one minute, I'm going to pick Ooh, okay, y'all. I'm out of there. Actually, I had a um, more successful trip than I anticipated. I bought some other stuff in there too, just for myself. I bought uh, two things of the beef jerky. I hadn't seen this one, the hot and spicy. This is just a regular. I like the teriyaki, but they didn't have any. So yeah, um, so I end up getting 10 of these. I just got the variety. Yeah, 10, they were, 50, they were $5 for 10. That ain't bad. And uh, I got gift cards, y'all. You know, I try not to give my co-workers the same things this year, every year. So, they getting, they all drink coffee or tea or something. So, they getting Starbucks this year. I told the lady, I said, honey, I didn't even know because the Dollar Tree out there by me ain't had no gift cards. I said, I ain't no Dollar Tree sold gift cards. She said, yeah, baby, we started selling them two months ago. About two months ago. I said, well, look at what. So, y'all, I am completely done. I was going to go to Kroger because, you know, I can get some fruit points from Kroger's. But I'm like, I ain't nobody going in the Kroger. I'm going to go right here. Three, four, five. Oh, yeah, she got them all on here. All on here. Mm hmm. So, that's that for that. And we're going to do it, make it do what it do. So, honey, I'm 100% done with Christmas. 100% done. And we can put a fork in it. Because all I had left was to get those gift cards. And like I said, I was going to go over there and get them. But no need. No need to do that now. So, y'all, if you're looking for something from the Dollar Tree, just try you another one. Just try you another one, baby, because they might have just what you're looking for. I'm like, lady, I don't need no dollar gift cards. The dollar ones, not to say the dollar was too much, but I'm like, the 50 cent one's just fine. They don't care. They're going to throw that card in the garbage. That's what they're going to do. So, guess what? They ain't no need of me buying it. Marvin's got a crowd. What well, it ain't really like you. Know, it ain't like what Marvin's be looking like on the regular, you know, because it's out late. It's late. I think they close at four o'clock. I must. I don't know for sure. But anyway, it's some. It's some. The car parking lot got it going on over here. But Marvin's Hot Kitchen. If you ever want you some soul food, come to Marvin's Hot Kitchen. He has another restaurant across the street called Hill Boys too. But they sell like wings and hamburgers and stuff like that. So guess what? I'm going to whoop on down to Bon on in the Mississippi and whoop my little happy tail onto the house. Is what I'm going to do. Yes, I am. They had a whole lot of people in Dollar, General, Dollar Tree working. They were stocking the shelves and everything. The lady just went out of her way to come show me where they were. She had already told me they were on the other side. But it was a lady over there stocking, and I wasn't going to get out of the way. So she politely came around the corner and said, a two for a dollar one's over here. So then the other lady moved. But that was really sweet of her. You know, I'm like, well, she's being helpful, you know, and which was very nice. It's always nice to have a pleasant customer service experience. You know, when you don't even ask for it. So, that was a blessing.
bill. I probably didn't have y'all up there good because I halfway put y'all up there when I got back in the car. So that's my fault. That's on me. That's on me this time. Not on y'all. But anyway, I've been seeing a situation where uh, at least three families that I watch here, I've just picked up their channels, um, are staying in hotels at the time, are staying in hotels right now. And if that's your situation right now, I pray. I'm, first of all, thankful to God that you are blessed with a roof over your head. I know it may not be the ideal situation right now, but we just thank God. And we ask you, you know, God, just to bless those who are homeless, especially during the season of the winter months and everything else, anytime. But, you know, especially in the summer and the winter months, it's specific, uh, specifically difficult to be in a homeless situation. So we just thank God for that. And like I said, we pray for those families right now. But all of them were like making the best of their situation. They were cooking in the hotel, preparing meals. One was preparing her Thanksgiving meal at the hotel, you know, and showing that. And it's just a blessing that, you know, that they have that place. But I know it's like they said they want to get out of that situation. And it's not ideal. And we were just talking about the cost of housing now. How, you know, it's almost impossible for some people to even come up with the first month's rent, the last month's rent. The deposit, the credit may not be just as great, so they're in a bad situation. And when you're in a hotel staying, it's expensive. So, you know, it can't. I've been there with that situation, too, where I had to have a hotel stay for a little while. So I know what it is. You know, I know what that's like. And, again, you know, I never thought that doing nothing was the answer. You know, I always thought I got to get a job. I got to work. I got to make sure that we've able to kind of, you know, keep going and keep moving on, you know. And so you cannot do anything but admire people who are trying to do the best they can for their life, you know. And we just pray blessings on them. And even those that in situations, you know, are homeless do for whatever reason, you know. Some, some is drug related, but... A lot of people are for, like I'm saying, just not have, don't have the finances. Um, some people have mental issues going on. You just don't know. You just have to pray and bless people, you know, where you truly can, if you can. And don't worry about if you have a $5 bill or $10 to pass on to someone. Um, okay. You can't worry about what they're doing with it. Once you give it, you just give it from your heart and give it from the right place with the right intentions from yourself. And let that be between them and God. You know, he'll handle it. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say today. I'm not going to be on here. I'm not, you know, I'm trying to come in on every day and kind of just want to touch bases with y'all today. And I hope you're staying positive and a good spirit with your mind. You know, just focused on having joy in your life. You know, regardless of what your ups and downs, just retaining the joy of the Lord on you all times. But anyway, I'm going to get off here, and y'all know I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I was going to tell y'all, too. I was telling my coworker, I told you, who manages the Toys for Tots warehouse. Um, she, I was telling her, I apologize that I couldn't make it, but I did go in and figure out. She said, yeah, I saw your name on the list. She said, but some people, you know, put their name on the list, don't show up. And I said, well, no, I try to do what I said. I didn't want to do that. I said, but I did go in. I said, it was last minute, but I did figure out how to reschedule because I didn't want to be passing my germs around. And so I told her I would be there this Thursday. And she said that, um, she volunteered. She said, I know you have your blog. She said, and I'm still going to be mindful. I might do a little recording there because she told me that I could just to give y'all a view of what the warehouse looked like in Toys for Tots. And, you know, um, give you an idea. But I still want to be cognizant of the other and respectful of the other volunteers that's going to be volunteering during the time while I'm there. I don't know how many people she has actually signed up for that particular day that I'm going but she did tell me that I could uh, vlog some during that time and so I will do that and, and take y'all along you know for the day and so you can at least see the Toys for Tots warehouse and with that said I'm going to get off of here I'm going to do my drive and get my little happy tail home but I want you to know you're loved I love you but God truly loves you the most remember to always be kind to yourself and others be joyful and be blessed and I'll see y'all tomorrow 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 i love ya tomorrow it's only a day away bye